I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARP Gadget. So, I had talked about these pants that uh, ended up getting the ass blown out of them when we were shooting at them. Well, you know, unfortunately, right around seams and right in the ass is a very bad place to have any sort of damage because it's going to fuck up the structural integrity of the piece. So, if you're going to do distressing, you really need to be aware of what is important on a garment and what isn't. So, right on the seat of the pants, in the crotch of the pants, um, any place where there's going to be a lot of stress on the fabric, around the seams, bad places to do distressing. So, this is something that needs to be fixed. Now, I know that uh, some of you out there are seamstresses and you make your own garments and all that, but you're going to have to override all those years of practice of doing good stitching because you're going to want this to look kind of crappy when you do it. So, you're going to want it to look like you know unskilled hands did the repair. Now that's not to say that in the wasteland there won't be people proficient in sewing. However, we want it to look like it's supposed to look. You know what I mean? So that's the aesthetic that we're going for. So I went and I got some thread uh, that's not exactly you know the right color obviously. Um, using the correct color also a mistake. You should get something that's fairly close. Um, you know to, for me this is closer than blue or purple uh, or black uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this sort of red color here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sew it and I'm gonna sew it pretty sloppily I'm gonna sew a whole bunch of stitches in it to make it really thick and really strong but after we do that I'm still gonna use a patch underneath it uh, to just really give it strength because of where it's located at and hopefully that holds for a long time and doesn't cause me problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this. We'll fast forward through it because you don't need to know all that. But if you've never sewn before, you gotta get yourself a needle. You gotta get yourself a thread, which you can find all over the place. You put the thread through the needle, and that's pretty much it. If you need help with sewing, there's probably other videos out there. Needle is threaded. <clears throat> now, I like to go ahead and double the thread up. I know everyone has their own ways of doing things, but go ahead and double it up. Beast mode, just bite it off at the end. If you don't have scissors, go to the end, tie a knot. Depending on the fabric you're using, you might want to tie two knots to make it a little bit bigger so it doesn't pull through. And then from there, just start sewing. Start from underneath on something like this, but after that, do whatever you want to do. So we got this patched up now, it <clears throat> doesn't look all that great, but if you have any other little places you want to patch up, this is a good time to do it. Just get all the sewing out of the way at one time if you can stomach it. If not, come back and do it in you know little bits of pieces. I'm actually going to sew this some more to make it look even more jacked up. I mean every bit of sewing I do is going to add integrity to it uh, structurally, so I'll put some more stitches in it. But um, after we do that, then we'll go ahead and put the patch on, which is actually what's going to hold it. These stitches are really more or less just for looks. So now I'd say we got enough stitching on there. So, now time for the patch. So these are the patches I got. Now, the reason I got these is because, one, they were on sale where I went, they were cheap, and I get a lot of different options, a lot of different colors, and this one was somewhat close to the pants color. So, you can get a bunch of different options here. They make them in just about every color, um, and you can just get plain, like, white ones to just patch the inside. Now, these are meant to go like this on the outside. However, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it and put it on the inside and do it backwards. Then that way, all these great st stitches and all this terrible handwork here is still on the outside 
Now, after you do that, you may want to go around with your machine and the proper colored thread and actually stitch this patch in place. Uh, however you want to do that, just to make sure that it really holds. If you think that it's prone to a place that's going to get blown out, you know, from repeated sitting and standing, you know, or something like that. Also, you could take and you could do one on the inside and one on the outside. Make sure that they're sealed up with the heat and then also stitch around that. That way you know that this isn't going anywhere. So you can basically do it just a little bit and you could leave it like this. Take your chances. You can put one of these on here on the outside or the inside. You'll probably be fine or you can overkill it to make sure that it's probably not going to tear open. Me personally, um, I know with my luck, this will probably bust open and uh, I want to make sure that it's really well taken care of. Now these other little ones like this, and you do whatever you want on those. These ones I'm actually probably just going to leave there. It's just this one that was on the ass that really had me concerned. So let's go ahead and do this. Now hopefully I have a small patch I can use. And it looks like I do. So that way I don't have to cut this big one down. I can just use one of these little small ones. So that's what we're going to do. You're going to need an iron for this part. We're going to want the scarred area to lay as flat as possible. And then we're going to come in and just put the patch right on there. I'm not going to go over the seam because to me that seems like it's going to lift this patch up over time. So I'm going to put this right in here like this. You could have also put this on first and then did your stitching. Probably would have held it on better. Um, you know, really, it's however you want to do it. This is how I'm choosing to do it. Uh, you're going to want to have your iron on a cotton setting. Or, you know, just follow the instructions for whatever you buy. you got to preheat this. Plus, you want to make sure it's laying as flat as you can get it. Before you put this on there. All right. Now it says 30 seconds, but I mean, you be the judge. When it looks like it's on there, that's when it's on there. If you're using a uh, fabric that is going to be easily prone to uh, melting, be very careful with the iron. Uh, you don't want to just leave it sit on here because it could very easily melt your fabric. Also, if you have an ironing board, that would probably be preferable to using a little wooden table like I'm using. All right. So now this is patched from the inside. And even if this starts to do weird stuff out here, it won't matter because we have it patched in here. And then if this ends up giving you trouble on the outside, you can always come back in with another patch and then just apply it right on the outside of the piece. Now, if you're going to do that, I would suggest cut the patch so it's like, you know, rough looking, you know, maybe kind of a star or, you know, some sort of weird shape or something and put it on there. Another alternative to this, now maybe on the butt's a weird place, but if you wanted to put it on their leg or something, if you have a hole, get an actual patch from something. Uh, you can buy them, you know, online and actually sew the patch on there. Uh, you know, it could have like a little explosion or it could be like a military patch or something and just sew it right over top of the hole. Uh, get a little bit more creative and take care of it. But I think we're going to leave that like this for now. And uh, that's pretty much what you got. If it blows out, then I'll worry about patching it later from the outside. All right, so on these same pants, there's some pretty good looking holes on the front of them. The only problem is you're not going to be able to go commando if you have holes in the front of your crotch. So you're going to want to go ahead and uh, maybe patch these up. Now this is a perfect candidate to put those patches on the inside because that way you still get the holes or the look of the holes on the outside, 
but that way you don't have to worry about anyone seeing in plus they won't rip any further really any place where there's an issue and you think this is going to rip that's where you want to use the patches so i'm going to patch on the inside of these and the good thing about these patches is, is you can cut them to size and uh just iron on little small pieces and then like i said if you want to you can hop in there and sew around them on your machine or by hand if you want to just for a little bit of added integrity so those patches don't peel off over time because no matter what anyone says, they do eventually peel off. All right, and when you're doing it on the inside, it doesn't really matter which color you're using for the patch. So I went ahead and just used the jean and then you can see that now I don't have to worry about these spreading really and it also conceals the inside. Now if you can see that blue jean coming through there and you don't like it or if you use a different color patch, just come in here with a sharpie and hit it up or something. You know, it's going to get dirty soon enough anyways, so, you know, who really cares, I guess, in the end. This one was so small I wasn't worried about <clears throat> anything happening there. But that's what we got as far as the patches are concerned. Vac. All the other holes are staying. Somehow, <laughs> all these bullets missed all these pockets. I mean, this pants has so many pockets on, and the bullets missed every pocket. So that's great. I can still use them. Now, we're going to rough these up a little bit down here. But for right now, these pants are good to go until the next step. Now, the same process will apply to jeans. If you have jeans that have... Uh, you know larger holes in them and you want to patch those up you can use those exact same patches now this crotch here that's going to be a little bit of a different beast to tackle um, so really I would say if you have jeans that are this screwed up unless you're planning on wearing a layer underneath and just leaving this go I probably wouldn't even bother with these uh, however I'm liking the way these are looking so I'm actually going to go ahead and continue on with these and I'll figure out what I want to do with that crotch here in a little bit. Like this hole right here, that's something that probably should be patched. And as always, adventure on. Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me hard. I fucked me so hard. Oh, hey. I know sometimes these videos can get a little bit long and drawn out, but you know what? It's better to have too much information than not enough. Be sure to check out the next part of this video.